Make sure you're giving the tests as mentioned in the previous videos. Tests are so important, guys. Trust me, I cannot stress this enough. Test yourself, get it evaluated, check for errors, study that, and now get into the next set of examination. Solve one test paper even on the day before the examination. Do not discount your efforts on this or else the results will show. Now for physics, do not invest any more time in theory. Just solve the MCQs of the chapters which you find difficult or you find hard. In chemistry, revise the inorganic part of the chemistry from the NCRT book and remember it well. Remember the exceptions, okay? There are plenty of them, isn't it? The inorganic paper is mostly a repetition of the past 10 years paper and you can take my word on this. For organic chemistry, revise your notes which you've made, the reactions, the interrelations, the mechanisms and I recommend you to go through the revised neat and nine hours on the Merit Store channel, on the Merit Store website. It is made in a systematic manner to tackle current day challenges and for physical chemistry, revise the formula and solve MCQs. And for biology, let me ask you one thing. Can you go through the NCRT two times in the next 10 or 11 days? Do you have that strength? Do you have that stamina? If yes, I'm telling you, do it. Just do it and now after that, solve the full length papers. Achha, do not forget to read the extra pages at the end of the textbook. That is important. Go through Arihant 15 years question paper. Like I said before, once you go through that, analyze your marks and in which particular section of the subject you have made mistakes and then review those chapters again and get your doubts clear. Know that there is still time, it's still time. And you could better yourself from where you are now. It doesn't matter where you are. If you're willing to go through this, I can tell you this, that you will succeed. You will at least get 100 marks more than where you currently are. So well, what should you do? Practice, practice, practice. You can get into a study plan of seven to nine hours or even 12 hours. All this based on what are your goals, what's your stamina, what's your bio clock, and what's the need to succeed at this point in time. How much do you want it and how badly do you want it will decide how much you will put in. Know that you have the potential to get past these things and you will add all of this into your big goal. And the last five days, I'm telling you, solve at least three papers daily. Now, like I said, what is your stamina? Is your stamina for nine hours, 10 hours or 12 hours? So if, if I think certain days you should do a 12 hour schedule. Now, what's a 12 hour schedule? You'll start at five in the morning. You'll do a two hour, two hour, two hour, two hour, two hour slot. You make it 12. Now, neen zaruri hai. But at the same time, I think there are certain days when you can challenge yourself and do more than what you normally will do. But at the same time, here you will get a three and a half hour sleep. I'm giving you regular power naps here. There's a sleep pattern here. There's a power nap here. And in between, there's a lot of things that you can do, right? There are certain days you can do a nine hour shift. On a certain day, do a 10 hour shift. And kisi din agar samjo mood kharab hai, tabiyat kharab hai, ya fir you're emotionally down, you can do a seven and a half hour shift. But try reaching this 12 hour shift on a daily basis, yeah? So based on your stamina, pick up whatever is appropriate. Eat, sleep, neat, repeat. <laughs> okay. So let's say you have 11 days from this point in time. You have these 11 days. I say um, three days continuously do a 12 hour shift. Uh, maybe two days do a nine hour and then repeat the 12 hour shift and come back to a seven and a half hour. And here you get into the examination. Um, you are free to do one paper every day or you do two papers every day or do, do, don't do a paper here, do three papers here. Jaisa aapko theek lagta hai, waisa karo. But remember, eight hours of sleep is important. Zaruri nahi hai ki isko ek saath milna chahiye aapko yaha par. But over here, sleep well because you're getting into the examination. So this eight hours, you can break up into maybe five hours, three hours, one hour, two hours, however you want to. Hydrate yourself. It's important. Veggies, proteins, nuts, eat that. Exercise at least 20 minutes a day. Get into exercise. It's important. It'll push your blood supply it'll get you ready um, in the gaps in between that I've provided in the gaps Jaja breaks hai, in that balance it well with a little bit of music exercise movie read something good that you know spend time on social media also if you follow the schedule I'm telling you you get 117 you get 117 hours in 117 hours in all if you do two papers daily you still reach 22 papers 22 papers will accumulate to 66 hours, which means you're still left with 51 hours. If, if you're doing this pattern, you're still left with 51 hours. That is your self-study time. 
which approximately is two and a half hour per paper study time, which means you can solve a paper, study for this and then get into another paper. Isn't this a good timetable? Well, so your strategy might be different from mine and everyone has their own unique strategy. Take time to plan how you are going to do all of this revision so that no chapter or no question is left unrevised in these final days. Having said that, I would say do not burden yourself with negative thoughts or anxiety. The moment you find yourself at an unhealthy position, at a not so happy space, switch. Be aware of this and make the switch immediately. Trust me, it's not worth even a second to be in this space. Listen to some great music to come back, get into meditation, talk to a good friend, hug your parents, eat something nice, read a page or two from a good book. Do what it takes to find shelter from this downpour. Again, if you go through the courses in Merit Store, you will find some focus videos, you will find some meditation videos, and I'll also put that in the description down. Well, you could talk to me in this period of time. You can ask me questions. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Cora. And even over here down in the description, you can ask me. Trust me, I try to answer as many questions I can. But sometimes I'm sorry if I miss answering some of these questions which you post. But I want you to know that I make sincere attempts to reach out to as many as I can. Are you on Instagram? Hit me up there as well. Okay. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Share a comment so I can know how things can be better. And I I know you're listening your feedback is valuable hit the bell icon so you can be intimated about the next video eat well eat healthy exercise stay fit some 20 minutes of exercise every day you cannot risk a bad health on the examination day can you it's may it's the month of may getting in it's hot in bombay so stay hydrated is it summer where you live too I thought I'll ask you this question because we have students all over. So without much ado, I'd say get into practice room and get going. It's been long two years that some of you must be following this video and this channel. Thank you for the trust and thank you everybody. Stay blessed. See you as doctors and successful, happy, settled individuals in the years to come. Stay in touch. Dua me and all the best.